Today, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the input and output speed sensors as well as the transfer shaft speed sensor on a Chrysler 62TE transmission. If this video helps you, would you mind helping me by clicking that subscribe button? The input speed sensor is easy to access right from the top of your engine. Um, it's worth noting that your input and output speed sensors are exactly the same and are interchangeable. There it is. To remove this sensor, you just squeeze the top of it pretty hard and pull up. And off it comes. To remove the bolt, you'll need an 8mm socket. And it just pulls right out. Put a dab of oil on the O ring. That'll keep that from leaking. Cracked my knuckle breaking that loose. That's what the blood's from. Um. So I'm just going to insert it back into the hole that the other one came out of and make sure to press down on it until you can feel it click all the way down in the place. Make sure it's all the way flush. And then I'll thread the old bolt, bolt in and reconnect the electrical connector and that one's installed. With the wheel off we now have easy access to the other two sensors. The transfer sensor is on the left and the output sensor is in the back. Let's go ahead and pull out the transfer sensor first since it's sort of in the way of the output sensor. To remove this electrical connector, you'll push on the front of the clip and then pull it off. Now I'm just going to reach in and pull it out. It'll be hard to see on camera, but I'm seeing a lot of metal shavings on the end of the magnet of this sensor, so that's a bad sign for this transmission. Uh, this might not just be a sensor problem. Uh, it's looking like it's probably something internal as well. Now let's remove the output sensor. I'm going to remove the electrical connector. I had a hard time getting my fingers on it to be able to pull it off. Just the angle of it, I just couldn't get it pushed down and pull up hard enough. It seemed to be stuck, so I tried to do it using two screwdrivers. I just took one screwdriver right there. Another one just kind of press. Alright, I'm hitting that heat shield now. <clears throat> there we go. And it's off. And then now I'll just undo the bolt. I hope I don't crack another knuckle. <clears throat> Get the bolt out. I'll just wiggle this a little bit while pulling up. There it came. And there's my sensor. After lubing the O-rings with ATF, I will first install the new output sensor and then I'll install the new transfer sensor. I love seeing people learn how to perform their own automotive repairs. And I'm glad my video is able to help you do this. If you haven't already, Please tap that subscribe button.